Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can use green screen footage inside Element 3D easily. So I hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me and by the way if you like short 3d simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description so now without any further ado let's start today's video so here we are in after effects now let's start this by creating a new composition so further click on this new composition come to this preset options here i will be selecting this hd 1080 which is a full hd resolution with a frame rate of 30 and duration of 10 seconds hit ok so now let's create a solid layer for element 3d so go to this layer options new create a solid let me rename this as element make it of comp size and hit ok so now come to this effects and presets panel if you're not finding this panel here go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for element so select this element and drop it onto this element layer now click on the scene setup button so here we got a new window open to work in element 3d so first of all let's import our 3d model so here i will be using a throne model which i have downloaded from sketchfab download link in the description so let me import that one so click on this import and let me locate that file so so this is the throne model actually it is an fpx file so i have converted that into obj using blender so select that one and open alignment let it be from bottom so that it comes on the top of this grid and hit ok so we have got the model but it is very small so now click on this normalize size so now you can see we got that model so let me add that texture so select the come to this material click on this diffuse so while downloading only we will get the textures here so let me load the texture so here i got this diffuse map so i will select that one import so we got the texture and also let me apply this normal bump so select this normal map Okay. and also let me apply this ambient occlusion also so i got this occlusion and okay fine so now let me reduce the glossiness we don't want that so select this throne material scroll down here we got this glossiness let me reduce this to let me reduce this to 10 specular also let me reduce it okay so we got our throne model and now let's create a ground plane so what is create plane and let me increase the scaling to 2000 fine okay and also let me apply another material onto this so let me come to this pro shaders and let me apply this wood so i think this is fine okay and also let me apply this increase this uv to three and three okay so here we got our scene ready and also let me reduce the glossiness for this also so here we got our simple scene so now click on this ok button so we got our models here so in order to view this in 3d space we need to create a camera layer so go to this layer options new camera and let it be 35 mm i will disable this depth of field i will add that manually later and hit ok let me rotate this so now you can see we got our scene here so let me zoom this up a bit like this and let me place it here so let me rotate this okay Fine. So now let's import our green screen footage. So right click, import, select your file, or else you can directly drag and drop the footage onto this project panel. So you can select your footage and drop it onto this timeline below to the camera layer. So here you can see I got this green screen footage from pexels.com. Download link in the description. So first of all, let me remove this green screen. So select this footage, come to this effects and presets, and look for key light. So select this key light 1.2 and drop it onto this footage here and select this pick whip and select this green color. So green color is removed. So let me change this view to screen match and we need to adjust some values. So let me increase the clip black. So here this black should be complete black and this white should be complete white. So if we observe clearly we are getting some black spots here. So let's fix that. So let me increase this green sorry black and let me reduce the white okay so now it is fine and let me change the view to final result once again and also here we got this chair let's remove that simply we can mask that one so let me change the resolution to full and let me select this pen tool and let me mask this out nicely okay so now we can mask it out 
so press M and invert this one okay fine so here the footage is only seven plus seconds so let me reduce the timeline here so select the footage press O on the keyboard for the last frame press N right click trim count work area okay so here I want this dog to be sitting on this throne so if there is no camera movements no need to do anything but if there is any camera animation like let me show you so if I select this camera okay and first let me zoom it up here like this and let me move to the last frame and let me zoom out here like this and also let me place this here okay so now we got this camera animation so now if I play this you can see the difference so if I want to make the dog character to be on this throne throughout the time or throughout this animation first we need to generate an null so for that select the element layer so let me head out this dog character select the element layer come to this utilities here we can select a position so let me select a 2d position so I will place a 2d position here and let me click on this generate button so here you can see we got an extra layer created so now if you move forward in the timeline you can see the position of this null so it will be following the throne only so now we need to copy the position of this null to our footage so this footage so first of all let me adjust the position so select the character let me place it here if you want to increase the scaling you can do that press s on the keyboard and let me increase the scaling here like this so i think this is fine let me place it here so now select this element position press p on the keyboard okay select the position edit copy now select the footage edit and paste so it has changed the position here so we need to enable 3d further so enable 3d now it will be on that position only so now we need to rotate this one so let me come to this y rotation and let me rotate here like this so I rotate this to 90 and also we need to reduce the scaling now so press S and let me reduce the scaling of the dog here. and let me place this here like this fine so here you can see we got our dog character straying on the throne throughout the animation nice so if any 3d characters or objects are in front of this throne we might get some issue so let me show you that also so select this element layer come to the scene setup and for example i will create this cylinder let me take the cylinder this one i will assign to aux animation channel one so this is to show what issue we may get here so first let me click on this ok button so now you can see our character dog character is not behind this 3d object so if I select this element it is in this cylinder is in aux channel 1 so let me go to this aux channel and channel 1 so if I move the position so let me move this position so here you can see the throne is behind this cylinder but if I come to this dog character the dog character is coming in front of this cylinder so now we need to fix this one so first of all again let me change this value to 0 because we will be using 3d sequence here and come to the scene setup and let me delete this throne so instead of that cylinder i would be using a dancing character so let me import that one it is a 3d sequence so file import select this 3d sequence and select this first file and import let it be from bottom okay and normalizes so here i got this dancing character and by the way if you want to know how to import these characters into element 3d along with the animation you can check out that i card above or else you can check the link in description for the tutorial okay so here we got this dancing character at this position so don't make any position changes in element 3d let me assign this to aux channel one so first of all let me reduce the scaling so i will reduce the scaling here I think let it be so now click on this OK button so we got our dancing character here so it is an aux channel one so we are in channel one only so first of all let me be on the first frame so here I got the character let me rotate this in y axis 90 and also let me place the character before to this throne so that the character is in front of this throne so now if I play this 
you can say our dog character is staying in front of this 3d dancing character so now we need to fix that so for that let me select this element layer duplicate it by pressing ctrl plus d or else go to this edit options and duplicate and place this element layer above to our footage layer so now our dog character is disappeared it's okay so now select this above element layer scroll down come to this output here we need to change this from composite to world position so this is coming like half and half so we need to rotate this mat so come to this y mat rotation minus 90 so we want this mat to be like this we want this white to be front and the black to be back so now come to this mat expansion here we need to adjust this expansion till this 2d null point which we have generated so let me adjust this mat expansion here so we need to get this black till that null object so i think zero okay zero is fine and mat feather i don't want that so i will change this to zero nice so that's it so after that select this footage layer click on this toggle switches to get this track mat options and change this track mat to luma inverted mat that's it so now if i come to this frame you can see our 3d character is coming forward and our dog character is staying behind our 3d character nice so in this way we can fix that issue so now let's add shadows in this scene so for that let me select this element layer first and let me come to this render settings and let me enable this ambient occlusion first enable ray tracing and intensity i will reduce this to 0.75 okay so now let's work on shadows so for that we need to add a light layer so go to this layer options new create light let it be parallel intensity 100 is fine and make sure this cast shadows is enabled and hit ok so we got light in the scene so now we need to adjust the light so let me move on to this last frame so that the light layer is visible so press p for position values and let me adjust the light here so let me rotate this light a bit okay and also let me place the light here so i think i need to increase the intensity so i will increase the intensity a bit to 250 okay so nice so still we are not finding the shadows so for that select this element layer scroll down come to the render settings once again here we will get the shadows expand the shadow option enable it and shadow mode change it to ray traced that's it so here you can see we got the shadows so in this way we can use any green screen footages inside element 3d easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye